Just finished up in Port Lincoln. We had a wicked stay. Yeah, awesome little spot. Yeah, so they got like a nice sick cafe culture and a foreshore and heaps of great seafood. It's like a seafood capital apparently. Yeah. Not that we ate it. Because no. <laughs> I'm allergic so I would die. It was our first sort of big town, I guess, since we left WA. Yeah. So took advantage of like the car wash um, and did like yeah, got a bit clean on the caravan as well. Big shop at the biggest supermarket, so you save a bit of money there instead of the little general stores out remote. But yeah, so did some errands, got washing done in the caravan park. We stayed at North Shields, which is about 10k north of town, but definitely recommend it. It was yeah. wicked. It's an awesome big site, so easy to put the van in the, um, in the spot. Grassy sites. Yeah, grassy sites. Ocean views. <laughs> Yeah, they got a jetty just out the front of it, which apparently you can catch squid off. Not that we tried, but uh, we saw people coming back with some, uh, some, some fish and yeah, some squid. Lots of people tried. <laughs> well, they, um, they caught it. Yeah. Um, we had some cool neighbours that we chatted to this time around, which is nice. And yeah, we're going to head on up to the next bit. So we're rounding off the Air Peninsula. Um, so we finished Port Lincoln and we're going to check out Tumby Bay and work our way up to Wyala. So we don't know anything about these places, we're just winging it. We don't really have a plan at the moment, we just kind of wake up each morning and decide where we're going to go next. And we yeah. sort of decide on the fly how many nights we want to stay at each place. So yeah, a bit like Port Lincoln, we were going to stay two nights, but we ended up staying three just because it was such a nice little spot. And just yeah. to have a real chilled out day yesterday, just really exploring that um, the foreshore and the town. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, so we kind of just do that and then I guess it gives us the flexibility. We're not in a rush to get to the next spot all the time. And then say this next place we go to, if it's blown out or the flies are bad, we can just pack up and shift whatever we want, which is cool. So it's nice not having a plan. Yeah, plate. we're very lucky to be this relaxed to do it. Just know. winging it. Yeah. So. <laughs> we'll see where the wind takes us next. So we're at Tumbley Bay. And we just pulled into a little rest stop uh, to have a look at some of this uh, silo art. It's crazy how much, like, how realistic this uh, picture looks. Um, it took me 28 days to do, and uh, 430 liters of paint to, <laughs> to put that up. It's a set to fact check just then. Yeah. But yeah, it looks so cool. It looks like a photo. with all their jetties being closed down here on the south. That's nice. I just painted that yesterday. Oh, did you? Look at all the matching cars, by the way. One of the street art displays is actually a 3D image. You can see a swimmer or a shark. Yeah. Don't ask me why I thought this would work on camera. I wish you saw one of these in the cage, eh? <laughs> this, this is what I did say. <laughs> this one's sick. Check out the one across the road. Oh, diggity dog. What do you reckon guys? Should we move here? Is this meant to be? Such a big kid. Do a backflip. I think you think you're higher than you are. Do a flip. <laughs> okay, go. <laughs> I'm 
information and detail about the place. <laughs> I think it's well worth the read. It was pretty windy. Adam was more concerned with the floorboards. These guys are everywhere. Welcome back guys, we've just arrived at Mel's Steps, not a bad view behind me there. Hi Adam, I was just levelling up, getting our legs down and all that, but pretty level site, which is good. They're all numbered, so you just... <laughs> anyway, so all set up. And this is our view. There's no one else in this section. There's a few campgrounds along this road that are busy, but this one's empty. I think because the roads are more rough. Um, but yeah, all to ourselves. Got some easy steps. And it looks like there's some cool caves we can explore. Our own private beach. Not bad. <laughs> so we found another cave. This is where Kira is going to spend the night. Hey. <laughs> yeah. Nice sunset walk. Nice beach. <laughs> Obviously that water comes all the way up. Apparently in the morning that uh, dolphins come through here. So hopefully we see some tomorrow. Oh, tire tracks. How'd they get down here? Cool. That's how did they get down here? It's like yeah, but it's like sheer face the whole way. Oh, that's a jump down. <laughs> jump down that six meters. I don't think it was a Hot Wheels car. <laughs> Oh. So fast, so furious. <laughs> so our baby has finally got sick of our shit. Yeah, he's had enough of us. <laughs> Amy. Um, definitely, Any, definitely. Anyway, I'll show you the little cute bugger. Yeah. <laughs> See, told ya, quad just came straight here and then jumped. Oh, just straight off. <laughs> Basically flew. Check out this sunset, people. Come, come along. You got like five seconds left on this. <laughs> Look at that. What a way to end the day. Yeah. Look at that clean collie. Can you wash that? Beautiful. <laughs> And some uh, battery. <laughs> Sun's out, gun's out. This guy doesn't even need me, does everything. This is the morning view we wake up to. Kimber, gonna find ourselves a big galah. <laughs> Can I 
Get away from these flies! Lionel's a bit of a legend around these parts. The star on the silo is best known for bringing his camels to the Christmas pageants. He's a true blue larrikin who's done a lot for his local community. So there is a little plaque here. Uh, very hard to read. Closed in 1935. Looks solid as a rock. Used to be an old school from like grandparents, great grandparents era. That's why I get weird vibes. <laughs> it's tiny. Oh. Whoa! <laughs> bat. Is it? So bad. Oh, careful on the floorboards. Is that bees or is that? Wasps maybe. Check out the lint. I've done in houses like this before. Electrical work there. This was their swimming pool. Yeah, so this was a private school back in the day. Facts, baby. So one thing we do that I'm sure everyone does or should do is check your brake lights and your blinkers every time you stop or unhitch. Can you do the brake? Yep. I don't know if these will be dog friendly. It's all National Park. Melbourne. That's a no. Pretty oh. town there. We've got Jack Aranda's all down the road. So if you're unlike us and don't have a dog. Places to check out. Not for us though. I feel like this place is going to fill up real quick. If it's anything like Norseman, there'll be no spots. Super early, just after the sunrise here in Kimba. Yep, so we're trying to get a head start on the, um, the drive today because it's getting up to around 41. So just do that to help out the car with the you know, engine and the brakes and all that. So Yeah, we're going to head back to the coast because it is hot because we're going to want to swim. So we're headed to Wyala, which should be cool. Apparently there's dolphins, we'll see. Yeah, it's up there. <laughs> there. <Yeah. laughs> see you there. Yeah, this is a bird. Oh, look at that. I know, it's the kitchen. <laughs> he was racing me. <laughs> Road trip into Wyala, and it is 34 degrees already. It's still early morning. So, hopefully, we'll get a good swim in. Yeah, I'm on. Be happy. Holidays, be happy. Every night we have some trouble When you worry, you make it double Don't worry, don't worry Be happy, don't worry 
Made it to the beach on this beautiful 41 degree day. <laughs> this is Wyala. So you can see behind me how clear the water is. It is shallow for miles. We went out, what do you reckon, like two and a half k's? And it was like wasting. Well, two and a half k. Maybe 200 meters. 200 meters. meters. <laughs> no, no. I, I swear most of it. A long way. <laughs> And all the hoons just hooned more to get around them, so it like did the opposite of what they were trying to achieve. Oh, yeah. like you slow down, get over the speed, and, up, then, and then just light up. It's like, <laughs> what did you think was going to happen? Everyone hates them, but anyway. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you right now, whoever put them in definitely doesn't live around that area. But yeah, very bumpy driveways. We are exploring around Point Lowly. So we just saw something from the main road on the way to the campsite. So we've doubled back to check it out. Yeah, so sure come see. I see but... It looks good from the road. Do you reckon we need to do the tires or it'll be alright? It's alright man. Just So far out. Yeah. But look, it must come all this way here. Yeah. It's still water puddles, so it can't have been that long ago. Go get wet. That's a mission walk. I'm not going with that. Not with his little feet. Too far? Yeah. Back yeah, out. See, it was getting really boggy there, so I have to let the tyres down and all that. Too boggy, too hot. Water's gone out, so we'll come back tomorrow. Plus, the breeze picking up. Proof that uh, Kira does drive. It's been nice just having a full day off from driving. Mate, you're so mean to me. You offered. There's a nice jetty to look at. But we're going to go over near the lighthouse where that white sand is. Swim. So, Reef, how do you find Point Lowly Beach or Lowly Lowly? One of them? Lowly. 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 
There's a baby caravan up on the hill over the lane and the lighthouse. So we've woken up Hello. in Port Lowly, Lowly, Lowly. Wow. Um, we're gonna shoot off because the temperature's dropped and the wind's gonna be hectic and we're just keen to move on. So we're gonna have a walk down to the lighthouse and take you with us. Yep. And then we're gonna go... It's literally just there. <sighs> My bad. Um, then we're gonna go up to Port Augusta, find somewhere just for a quick overnighter. Yep. And then head down to the coast, I guess. We don't know, we'll figure it out. Bye bye, yeah. <laughs> There's the lighthouse in Barbie's Bay, so it's like a rocky beach, but nice, clear, sheltered little bay. See these? What is that? Shark eggs. Shark eggs? Yeah. And what is it really? Look at all these pretty pearl shells. They are. Please, they're like pearl. I think it's the Port Jackson shark. That's what? their egg, so they it can screw. Oh, you just put it on me. It blew off. What is it? It can't be. It is. I didn't even realise they did eggs. Yeah. Are you sure? Not all of them. Are you talking crap? No. It just gets pushed into the thing. It's like secured. Oh, so why? It's heaps of the way. Why would there be heaps of shark eggs? And then you got a blue tongue just there. Is he alive? Yeah. He moved his head. Just chilling. Barbie's Bay. <laughs> Where's Ken? I'm looking for can't, Barbie can't see still. Ken. Are you my Ken? Wow, I can be. <laughs> Put your rat back, you oh. cheeky boy. Who's a rascal? What's this little hut? Uh, I'm not sure what that is, but that's just a bit of a description of this lighthouse, just saying how it was in operation when we added uh, 7.6 metres because we had a you know, boat running around. 1883. Yeah, as old as you. And we saw it working last night. Yeah, it's still working, it's spinning, but obviously the light's not on. What are these cute little houses? So how's that? In 1973 it was converted to electrical operation. That's pretty late really. Previously filled by kerosene. It's an empty shed. Nice view of the jetty over there. So that's what they process over there. What? Liquid hydrocarbons. Hmm. It's a mixture of crude oil and natural gas liquids. Oh, there you go. I'm wondering what that was. I think it's popped all the way down there. It was lit up like a Christmas tree last night. We could see from our campsite. Yeah. I'm wondering what they did. So it's uh, finally happened. A couple of months on the road and... Yeah, we're famous. Well, Reef is famous. <laughs> Reef, is, Reef has been recognised. Yeah. <laughs> been recognised out and about. So just had a lovely couple come up to us here near the light. <laughs> To say good day to Reef because yeah. they've seen him getting around and about. They wanted his uh, autograph. <laughs> Their dog's a bit jealous in the car barking away at us. Yeah, <laughs> nuts. <laughs> so Reef's just had a bit of a yarn to us about being famous now, um, and he wants to travel around in his own limousine with a butler and everything. Needs his own tour bus. Yeah. We're thinking of this guy next to us might swap it out. <laughs> so Reef's gonna have a, go, have a yarn to him. Maybe he'll get his manager onto yeah. onto it. Yeah. He's got a rider now for every destination. He wants some bowl of treats. Yeah. Iced water, not room tip, and water ball. Play with his basketball before we actually set up. We'll play with basketball. Yeah. And he reckons he's taking our bed, and we have to sleep on the floor, so. I'm a huge fan of this hill coming up. I've got to look them up. Let's see. 
like the wild, wild west out here. There we go, should be on a horse. Yeah. You and a horse? Aren't you scared of horses? <laughs> Adam's terrified of horses. I wouldn't say I'm scared. You're scared. I wouldn't say I'm scared. Chicken. South Australia and just see what's there. There's beautiful scenery so far on the drive from Port Augusta through, like beautiful ranges. I have to look up what they're actually called, but I'm sure there's amazing hikes. Flinders Range, maybe. Flinders, maybe. But yeah, beautiful scenery, so we'll try and get as many shots as we can. It looks gorgeous. Just arrived at Reef's favourite place. <laughs> come on, come on. Inside. Come on. We'll be back soon. We're just going to the cafe, mate. Alright, let's do it. <laughs> we would never do that. <laughs> not a chance. This place is awesome. It's not just for dogs, apparently. <laughs> oh, do you know how many gross dogs have been on that? They're dirty paws. Oh, you've pooped. <laughs> <laughs> nice little spot to rest. That's the van right there. Check out the cook bar on the piano. They're not real kitty cats. Not real cats. <laughs> He's like, what a lot. <laughs> Let me out of it. Play with them. <laughs> so during the height of the Second World War, the, the ladies in town here used to feed all the soldiers as they came from the trains, but it's crazy numbers because it's like 23 trains a day in size. <laughs> so eerie. It's got what? Top pockets and bottom pockets. Oh, the belt the boots, yeah. Cool. Very clever. Boots too. Very clever. They'll be wicked at night, all lit up. So we just uh, popped into corn and ch checked out the place. <laughs> that was a dip. There's a few dips on the road. Um, but yeah, it was a super cool little town, like very outback feel to it. And um, the, like, the houses and stuff like that were. All heritage buildings. Yeah. It was beautiful. It's a beautiful fretwork. Um, and the gorgeous like old traditional federation style shops but yeah very tourist friendly town very tourist friendly they've set it up really beautifully um super easy for the caravans super easy for caravans there's a few cafes to enjoy um dog friendly there's a dog park in town and just friendly in general like going into the shops yep. people were so lovely and we were just walking down the road looking at the houses and an old fella had a yard to us from yeah. his front porch it's so friendly very friendly town yeah loved it one thing i've noticed with all these country towns especially in the outback communities is they've all got this uh artwork presented on all the walls and just the talent that these people have is the just talent. insane yeah 
it's nice. It I just, wish you see more of it in the city. Yeah, so it just brightens up the place, the place a bit as well. And yeah. Very cool um, little sort of uh, war memorial sort of yeah. thing. Yeah. Which would look awesome at night time as well, just the way they've got their, you can see like where they've positioned the lights on some of the um, statues and yeah. stuff like that would be really cool. Yeah, like all the remote towns seem to have like a good focus and respect for their the vets and you know not just the Anzac but all the wars as yeah. well. So really nice to see big remembrance day as well. Oh, that's what they call a widow maker. That's why you always check where you park your car. Good thing we're over there. Big storm. That'll make some sort of mess. Can't even see it. This guy just climbing up the tree. Reef was just walking, literally right there. He, look, he has no idea it's there. Things just chilling. I don't think I've ever seen one. I wonder, I wonder if he's gone up the tree because he saw Reef coming. He's seen us better recently. Look how high he is. I didn't know they could climb trees. Wow. Reef's like, what's going on, guys? So we were just walking on this path just here. We just saw this goanna head up this tree. Here he is there. So you start walking up the tree, and then these guys here. So there was two owls. This guy here giving, giving him evils. He's just watching this guy. So hopefully there's no eggs in there. But yeah, good old wildlife for you. Thanks for watching guys. We'll see you next time when we're exploring around and about.